Hello everyone, for today's video I'm bringing you a rather interesting glitch. Well, I guess to some extent it may not be a glitch, but I'll get into that in a moment. So, if you have the golden grey type outfit and then you turn Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 3, it will change the golden grey type outfit into a pure white grey type outfit. As you can see right here, as I turn into a Super Saiyan 2. Now, I think it does work with future Super Saiyan, Super Vegeta 1 and Super Vegeta 2. But the only reason why I'm not going to say that they do work with those three transformations is because I just simply haven't tested it with those yet. I don't know if it works with Potential Unleashed or the Golden Form because I think this is, like I said, I don't think it's a glitch. I think it's just because they didn't program in a Super Saiyan version of the great, well, the Golden Great Tape outfit rather, because I think when you transform, it technically changes the clothing ID. I think I'm not too sure. So given that it's a pure white outfit, I think that's just like the default colour maybe, I don't know. So maybe this works with Kaioken, well the free Kaioken forms, potential unleashed and the golden form, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I mean well maybe not because it doesn't work with the uh, the um, giant making form, I forgot what it's called then. So yeah, for our first moves there, Super Saiyan as my transformation, hyper movement as my evasive, you didn't see that coming. Um, Dragon Fist and Divine Lasso as my two ultimates. Sonic Bomb, Rebellion Spear, the Time Skip, Flash Skewer and Pressure Sign as my four supers. But do keep in mind that this works as of version 1.0701 and I don't know if this will get patched or you know quote unquote fixed in the Mysterious Xenoverse 2 expansion. I mean given that they patched Hell's Flash I wouldn't be surprised and if you guys don't know there was this glitch pro to I believe it was DLC 4 where if you were transformed like in potential, well pretty much every transformation apart from the purification form and the giant Namekian form, if you were transformed then use Hell's Flash, you would revert back to your base form but you'll keep the, you know, your transformed aura and your stats. It's very cool, you could kind of make a false Super Saiyan, you know, like character from that. Again, it was a very cool glitch, it's a shame it got, you know, quote unquote, you know, patched, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Okay, so I'm also, well, I'm sure there's gonna be a few people who are going to ask how to unlock the golden grey type outfit, and well, sadly, as of right now, you simply cannot. It was a raid exclusive reward, and that raid has now finished, and given that they haven't, you know, done the raids again, like, I think the first raid reward was either the Janemba Sword, the Zuno Top Knot Wig, or the Trendy Suit, it was one of those three, and as far as I know, Neither of those raids have returned, and given that this is the latest, well, again, as of me recording this, this is the latest raid reward, it's going to be a while until this returns, unless they do put it in the TP Metal store, which I did mention that they may put the World Tournament exclusive rewards in there at some point, but I think that will be when they stop supporting the game, you know, Xenoverse 3 or something like that. So, unfortunately, as of right now, you cannot get the Golden Grey Dave outfit. I mean, who knows? In the expansion, they may put all prior raid and world tournament you know, rewards in the TV Metal Store, we, yeah, we just don't know. But I think at some point, and this will probably be in the very distant future, they will be available to buy with TP medals. And if and when that does happen, this, you know, little fawn harmless glitch will probably be patched. So, that does suck, I mean, I hope it doesn't get patched, it's a really cool idea. Or I guess I glitch or whatever. So let's finally get into the commentary, guys. In the third fight, um, I'm level 99. This guy is level 80. And okay, so I did go for hyper movement now. I just wanted to see if I could catch him. Because to be honest, I was thinking, well, he's picked Freezer. I'm probably gonna win because he's not the best. Don't get me wrong. I don't think he's bad, but he's not necessarily the best. Like hit or you know, Super Saiyan Blue Goku or Vegeta Blue. But yeah, level 80, like I said. And all these fights are player matches with limitations off and capsules off and. The timer is set to 10 minutes long. So yeah, I mean, hats off to this guy for picking 100% power Final Form Freezer because no one uses him, even back in Xenoverse 1. Uh, so yeah, I've got for Super Saiyan 3 here. He goes for Death Ball. I do go for Hyper Movement. I may have gone for that a bit too late because it didn't break his guard and the, I guess like the stutter from the attack hit me. So that's just fantastic. I, I just have bad luck with Ball Ultimates. Don't think they have context. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I could have vanished a few months ago, and I do here, and the reason why I waited was because I want to make sure I've got, you know, at least two bars of stamina at all times, if I can help it, even though right now I've got like, what, one and a half, but I mean, he's got enough stamina, so I think, you know what, it'll be worth it. A little combination I've been trying to do is to go for 
you know, when I've got at least six bars of key, is to go for stamina break, then the time skip flash skewer, then dragon fist, because I think that'd be very cool. But unfortunately, your opponent has quite a bit of time, well, not a lot, but enough um, time to recover after their hit with the time skip flash skewer, even if you break their guard. So typically, I'm going to hit you before you actually get the dragon fist off. So yeah, it's just. I mean, I'm, you know, I guess in like a team match or some other way you could go for that combo, but yeah, guys, do let me know if you may not have to do that. That'll be very interesting to test. So this guy's level 84. I believe he's running Emperor's Death Beam. And I believe it was the times 4 or it was the times 20 Kao Ken Kamehameha, but I think it was the times 4. So yeah, two decent ultimates. I mean, he's got like what? Six, maybe seven bars of key in total if he has max key. So I probably wouldn't run Emperor's Death Beam. Just my opinion. So yeah. Kind of expecting to transform here, well, at the time I was. So I was going to try and prepare for a hyper movement to break his guard and just to fist him. What? Um, so yeah, I do break his guard there. Go for Super Saiyan 3. I believe I went for it earlier, but I dropped it out of it. I can't remember why. And again, I tried to go for the, I guess you could call it a flash dragon fist, maybe? Or a skewer fist? <laughs> what have we been saying? And yeah, I mean, I do know going for hyper movement, like how I'm going for it right now, is extremely inefficient, but god damn it, it just looks so cool. Uh, so yeah, he does vanish there, and I, I, well, I think he vanished there, you know, unintentionally because, I mean, I, basically I think he vanished there as a sort of fluke because if he'd vanished like a few, well, maybe like a second prior, that would have been, you know, enough to probably finish him off. So yeah, um, I've got pretty much no stamina right now, I do vanish here, again, he's got no stamina, so that's great. I can't remember what I want to do now, I think I may try and go for the, oh yeah, go for the Rebellion Spear, again, another cool attack, and that. Uh, what that was, that was a death slash, and that cancels his, well it doesn't cancel it there, it just goes straight through it. I think it may have tanked a tiny bit of my stamina, I'm not too sure. So yeah, going to the next fight, this guy is his male Saiyan avatar, what a surprise. <laughs> he's level 89, and he's running Super Black Kamehameha Rose and the Divine Wrath Purification. And if you guys can see, he has a metric ton of key, so I'm thinking at this point, okay, He's probably going to be running Super Vegeta to go for, of course, Super Vegeta 2. I hate the fact that we can't see what transformations people are running. Like, that must be some sort of... Well, not a glitch, but I think it's just like a copy and paste of what is in the verse 1 system. Because in the verse 1, if you guys remember, transformations outside of the, you know, the um, three Karken forms were classed as ultimates. There weren't, you know, there wasn't an awakening slot or like a transformation slot. So, yeah, um, but what I'm thinking here is... Maybe he's gonna try and get max stamina. Uh, sorry, max key. I keep saying max stamina, or like stamina when I mean when I mean key and vice versa. But I think okay, he's probably gonna try and get max key and then go for a stamina break, then a super black combat hard rolls eight, and then maybe the bind purification because that will do an insane amount of damage. I only took like 20 minutes to say that bit, Jesus. So here I go for that very inefficient but just so damn cool looking hyper move, well swing kick hyper movement. So yeah, very cool. Okay, so going to the next fight for this video, I believe there's going to be two fights left, maybe three, I'm not too sure. This guy picks his freeze race character, level 90, cool as supernova, and again, the Divine Wrath Purification. That's the best Themekian exclusive attack in the game. Oh man, you're you. Okay, so, I forgot what superstar he's running, but I mean, let's be fair, he doesn't really know how to manage his stamina. I mean, I've barely used any of mine, and he's used all of his. I mean, yes, I do have more stamina than he does, but I mean, he's got like what? Eight bars, is it? Something like that. Seven, well, maybe seven and a half, I don't know. So yeah, I broke his guard there. I didn't want to use any stamina or, you know, I just didn't want to use any at all while his guard was broken because, once again, I just wouldn't be able to finish him off by the time my, you know, by the time his stamina would have recovered. So I do just kind of like burst in and out of suits down here just to send him flying back. And is that cheap? Well, here's the thing. I mean, if you're running hyper movement, no, because. You know, just use hyper movement and that's their guard broken. Plus, Super Saiyan is, in my opinion, a slow transformation. And if you know, you know, if you know what you're doing, you can easily set up for it to perfect block it, then to break your opponent's guard. So the fact they didn't know how to do that, you know, just sucks with him. So I'm running the, I forgot, is it Mirror Super Soul? I think it is. Where basically, if you break your opponent's guard with a heavy stamina break, I believe it extends how long their stamina has been broken for. I believe it's in the, it's even the next fight, all the fights after that, I think, where my opponent picks Super Saiyan Rolls A Goku Black, and of course, Rolls A Goku Black Super Soul, oh, and yeah, it's this fight, he's level 85, but Goku Black, well, Super Saiyan Rolls A Goku Black Super Soul, 
you know, lets you recover stamina faster. So right here, the bar activated, and I don't know if that just cancels each other out and it just recovers, you know, normally. I don't know, but I thought that was very interesting when that did happen. So yeah, I just really wish I could have hit the um, time skip. Well, actually, I guess you could call it a time skip dragon fist. It just it just looks like such a cool attack, but unfortunately, didn't work. Uh, again, in team battles, it would work easily because I mean, you could go for a yeah you know, in team battles, you could go for a tri well, not a triple, maybe like a uh, okay. What, what could you call it? Like a dancing time skip dragon fist? Like you and go for the stamina break, then the flash gear, then dancing power power. What your teammate does, then you go for a dragon fist. So yeah, I think I might try and go for it here. Yeah, I'll go for the. Flash Gear, uh, and I got the Dragon Fist, and again, even though his stamina's been broken, it just do it's just too slow. Because if you're just like mashing square and I guess triangle, you know, you'll just, I mean, you probably should if you guys have been broken, because there's nothing else you can do. Um, you know, it'll just cancel out Dragon Fist. So here I'll break his guard again, and go for Divine, the Divine Dandelion. <laughs> what? No, I got for Divine myself, that's enough to finish him off, and then some. So yeah, so going to the final fight, I believe this is now, um, I forgot who my opponent picks. I want to say Vegeta Blue for some reason, always freeze race character. Um, oh no, she's oh a female saint, so he's got Sword of Hope and I believe it was Dragon Fist. So yeah, very cool. Actually, I think it's a, ma uh, a male saint. I think it's a female saint. So yeah, so they'll break, um, break his guard, her guard, whatever. But like what, 15 seconds in as of right now. I mean, I've kind of used a, you know quite a bit of stamina already, but I guess like, the flip side to that is that I've actually done quite a bit of damage on him. So that's pretty cool. Um, he's doing that Indiana Jones technique where I forgot which movie it was. I think it was the first one where he's like fighting that um, swordsman and the swordsman just like playing with all these swords and then Indy just gets out the gun and shoots him. So like, you're being flashy for no reason. So yeah, I go for Super Saiyan 1 here and I believe, well actually, I think in this fight I may go for Super Saiyan 2, then 3 right after each other. Um, no, I'll go for Super Saiyan 1 again there. Goes for Sword of Pulp. I did try and break um, his guard here. I keep thinking that you can. I think you can, you know, just as they're doing it, but you need to be very fast. Again, just go for a throw at any point after the transformation has actually activated, and that will just take them out of the um, form. So it's very useful, just in case you don't know that. He's got enough stamina now, and I believe it's going to be game. Yeah, oh no, it's not. Uh, I go for the stamina break. It doesn't connect, but the Super Soul activates, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I wonder what would happen. Like, would that make his stamina recover slower? Maybe, like slower stamina recovery, I don't know. But there, I got up a pressure sign, and that is game. So that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please try and test out this glitch before, you know, they patch it, if you do indeed have the golden grey tape outfit. And with that being said, I'll see you next time.